Again, that was Kelly O'Donnell reporting. So you just heard a little about the steroid dexamethasone. Well, adding the steroid to the president's treatment is a red flag for some, while others say it's a common route doctors take. NBC 7's Jackie Crea spoke to a local doctor who offered some perspective on the president's overall combination of drugs. With news that President Trump's oxygen levels dipped too low, there was worry that an addition of a steroid to his treatment signaled something more severe. Of course, they, they felt um, controlling the inflammation was going to be helpful, you know, in the sort of president's current status. Local doctor Paul Schalk Linkby specializes in airway obstruction and sleep apnea. He says steroids are a very common treatment for inflammation or swelling, which is the body's reaction to trauma or infection. Different patients at different stages of the inflammation or the infection can receive steroids, so I wouldn't read that much into it. But it's also proven to improve critical COVID-19 patients. Infection sets in and the damage to the lungs and other systems start to occur. The body reacts, you know, with this very um, aggressive inflammatory response. That aggressive response to contain the damage can create problems in itself. And in President Trump's case, Shalk Limpy says it may have caused inflammation of the lungs, affecting his oxygen levels. Steroids were likely beneficial at this point. You allow for the lungs to continue, you know, exchanging oxygen and taking care of the uh, oxygen levels. So it has been added to work in unison with the other two drugs the president has been receiving, remdesivir and an experimental drug cocktail. The treatment is, is, is there and seems to be working, hopefully for the president, but it's not accessible to everybody, hence the importance to take this pandemic seriously and to con continue exercising all precautions and all preventive strategies. Jackie Crea, NBC7.